Number nine, Ancient Human Pet Cemetery, Peru. An ancient cemetery containing the remains of both dogs and humans had experts scratching their heads in the capital city of Lima, Peru back in 2012. Discovered under the Parque de las Leyendas Zoo, it provided a mysterious glimpse into how important animals were to human society during the pre-Columbian era. Discovered in the cemetery were both human remains, including 126 human skulls of males and females aged 20 to 40, plus the skeletal remains of 128 dogs. They were laid to rest together. Talk about man's best friend. Though this wasn't a friendly experience. Damage inflicted on the human skeletons indicates that this was a site for sacrifice, and it appears the dogs were sacrificed as well, though they met their end in a less violent way. Having said that, the theory is that they were strangled by those organizing the ritual, so, you know, not exactly hotel for dogs. Why did the sacrifices take place? It's a mystery. However, some believe there could have been a terrible tragedy in the community, such as a lot of people dying at once. Ultimately, we don't know exactly what happened down at the location that currently houses the zoo, but those in the know can make some pretty educated guesses. There are reportedly several animal graveyards in Peru, but this combination of human and dog is a first. Dating back nearly a thousand years, it seems there's still much for archaeologists to explore. Number 8. London Hammer, Texas This famous artifact comes from London. Not London, England, but the community of London in Kimball County, Texas. In the 1930s, the Hans stumbled across what looked like a regular tool embedded in some rock. Upon closer inspection, the discovery, dubbed the London Hammer, wasn't what it seemed. In fact, it appeared to be truly mind-boggling. Why? Well, for starters, the limestone rock is believed to date back a few hundred million years. And because we've apparently only been around for a couple hundred thousand years, it poses some crazy questions. The tool, which could be from the 19th century and used for working on metal, is properly stuck in the rock. So if the rock grew around it, it means the hammer existed before the earliest known humans. It's an awe-inspiring idea, though we may need to burst your bubble at this point. Firstly, because the tool resembles something from the past 200 years, it's more likely to be something from that time. Also, while the rock has formed over centuries, it's also very soluble, meaning that it can encase something in a relatively short space of time. The mystery of the London Hammer, which exists in very good condition, has yet to be cracked, so to speak. So for all we know, it's an ancient artifact we haven't found out about before. It's a fairly safe bet that there's a more regular explanation, though, as is usually the case. Number 7. Von Dam Vent Field, Caribbean What goes on at the bottom of the ocean? We've been poking around down there a while, but there's still so much there that's a mystery. The 21st century has brought to light all manner of strange business. Take this example from 2010. Experts noticed an unusual kind of hydrothermal vent on the Atlantic Ocean floor close to the Canary Islands. These vents release what's under the floor into the water with dramatic effect. The Von Dam vent field features vents made up of talc or clay minerals. That's right, the same stuff that goes into talcum powder. This made them stand out from other types, which are created from sulfide minerals. So far, so scientific. We bet you're wondering, how do the vents actually work? The effect of the Earth's epic tectonic plates separating over time means water becomes superheated by underfloor magma. Metals are effectively washed off rocks due to the hot water being especially acidic. Vents push the end product out into the sea, which is cold, and the ingredients go flying across the environment as a result. Another curious feature of these Von Dam vents is the way they're situated. The energy flux, or the rate at which energy travels through a particular surface, has been clocked at approximately 500 megawatts. This implies there's a ton of magma nearby. Whereas actually the vents are a fair distance from separating tectonic plates. Weird, right? Studying the vents not only gives us an insight into deep sea conditions, but also reveals what's underneath the Earth's crust in one of the loneliest places on the planet. Number six. Mount Owen Moa Claw, New Zealand. Do not adjust your screen. You've not stumbled onto a video about Jurassic Park or even the Muppets. This extraordinary looking claw has major fantasy movie vibes. However, you'll be no doubt surprised to hear that it's a real piece of natural history from New Zealand. Despite being over 3,000 years old, the Moa bird left behind a claw that still has flesh on it. Crazy, huh? This eye-popping find has been known about since 1987. Cave explorers were looking around Mount Owen when they discovered the relic. Thought to have existed in New Zealand until approximately 800 years ago, moas were flightless. And if you think this may look like a bit of a beast, you're not wrong. Moas could reach a height of 12 feet and weighed 510 pounds. That's one big bird. 
and it still causes feathers to flap today thanks to a posting on social media. The one and only Luke Skywalker, Mark Hamill himself, commented that the claw looked like it had come off a rancor from Return of the Jedi. From natural history to a galaxy far, far away, these mysterious discoveries get everyone talking. Number 5. Ross Ice Sea Shelf We're all aware, or at least we should be, that the polar ice is melting. This has major implications for our sea levels. Did you know that according to estimates, the sea could rise up a whole 10 feet across the planet? What would cause that? The West Antarctic. No matter where you are, this freezing wasteland holds sway over the world's water. The stability of the area depends on how the ice fits together. A vast ice sheet in West Antarctica is reportedly bigger than a major country and is thousands of feet thick. Truly mind-boggling. And we're suddenly feeling chilly for some reason. Should the Ross Ice Shelf be disrupted, there's nothing to stop the West Antarctic Ice Sheet pushing a ton of water across the planet. Why is that? Because this shelf and others hold the sheet in position. The Ross Ice Shelf is a mere several hundred feet thick by comparison, but is still one hell of a chunk of the cold stuff. Recently, experts drilled a couple of holes so they could get a handle on what was down there. To their surprise, they noticed a lot of crystals lining the underside. The formation has been likened to a waffle effect and is caused by tidal forces. It's just the first step in a major effort to understand these out of reach and mysterious places. Number four, Cave System China. One of the most intriguing and also the most frustrating things about ancient history is that there are no straightforward answers. You can discover the most magnificent sites, but more often than not, it takes guesswork to establish exactly what you're looking for. Over time, archeologists can begin to build a picture of how a certain group of people lived and recognized visual cues. But sometimes, there just isn't much in the way of hard evidence at all, and they're looking at a totally tantalizing mystery. A great example of this lies in not just one, but two cave systems in China. One is located at Longyu County in Qujiao Prefecture, specifically Fenghuang Hill. The other is at Huashan, which means Flower Mountain in Anhui Province. The caves weren't stumbled upon by history experts, but by regular people. The Long Yu Caves were revealed when a villager drained water from the sandstone in 1992. Inside were multiple chambers and a grotto that reached a height of 30 meters with a 2,000 square meter floor. Meanwhile, eight years later, a farmer was looking to cut some wood when he noticed the Flower Mountain Cave. This reportedly included 36 grottos and an area called the Underground Palace. Featuring stony design elements such as cave furniture, it has an 18 meter ceiling and is 170 meters long. What's especially interesting is that the two locations are very similar in terms of their looks. Both have pillars, and there are markings and carvings on the walls. The archaeological community has virtually nothing to go on here, and it seems as if the caves will remain a mystery for the foreseeable future. Without historical records, it's going to be a tough nut to crack. Number 3. Disabled Children in Regal Burial In Russia, approximately 34,000 years ago, during the mid-upper Paleolithic, there lived a group of hunter-gatherers who occupied an area called Songir. In what is now the city of Vladimir in the center of the country, remains were discovered relating to their activities. This happened back in 1957 and archaeological work carried on until 1977. However, it wasn't until 2018 that findings were published on details such as the burials. You had men of the group laid to rest in graves full of valuable items like mammoth ivory and fox teeth. Yet one example of child burial really caught experts' attention. Why? because the two boys they looked at had physical disabilities. Thought to be aged 10 and 12 respectively, they were also buried with a noticeably greater amount of ancient loot. What condition did the young group members have? Mention is made of unusually shaped thigh bones in the 10-year-old, restricting his physical abilities. Meanwhile, the 12-year-old was also apparently bedridden, going by the state of his skeleton. This casts new light on the idea of a tribe that maybe abandons those lacking the strength to hunt and kill. The presence of human calf bones on the boy's chest obviously carries some significance, but we don't know what. It's a true mystery why the young boys received an elaborate burial. We do know they didn't have a good time due to stress levels picked up from their tooth enamel. Laid head to head, it's taken several decades for their remains to be analyzed. We guess it'll take a while longer before the truth about them can be established. Number 2. Tikal Structure, Guatemala the ancient Mayan people are legendary in the history of Mesoamerica, the ancient North and Central American area where you'll find the epic city of Tikal. Things changed dramatically there in 378 when a general named Born of Fire arrived. He was representing the mighty Teotihuacanos. They reportedly dwelled hundreds of miles away in the urban center of Teotihuacan. 
and it's safe to say that they weren't there to offer the hand of friendship. Tikal might have been under new ownership from that time on, but this suggests the two sides were sworn enemies. A recent discovery shows that that may not be the case. In 2021, word came in of a previously unknown structure hiding under centuries of vegetation. Comprised of a courtyard, some buildings, and most strikingly of all, a pyramid, the secret location strongly resembled the Citadel Zone in Teotihuacan. Was this half-sized replica a tribute made by the Mayans? Or does it indicate the presence of the Teotihuacanos in a peaceful coexistence? Yep, it's another one of those ancient mysteries. And we have LIDAR to thank for it. It's an acronym standing for Light Detection and Ranging. Lasers reveal what's buried underneath a site or object by bouncing off features and sending back information. LIDAR has certainly been changing the game for experts, though it's also been bringing up a bunch of new questions. Did the Mayans and Teotihuacanos enjoy each other's company before things turned nasty? If they did turn nasty, why? There's still a lot to dig up, as in literally, with this mysterious story. Number 1. Non Madol Micronesia Speculation has raged for years over the many potential locations of Atlantis, the mythical underwater city. This place is a fairy story for some and a reality for others. Either way, sometimes a location comes along that people compare to Atlantis, and one of these is the city of Nan Madol. It's unusual in that it can be found in the Pacific Ocean, not underwater, but on a small island called Temwen that's close to the island of Pohnpei in Micronesia. Since its discovery a century ago, the stone walls and strange geometric blocks, nearly a hundred in total, have sparked experts' imaginations. The thinking is that this was the base for the people known as the Sodeleurs and their dynasty. Nan Madol, which translates as the space in between or within the intervals, was a temple dedicated to Nanizon Sapu, or the god of farming. Occupied between the years of 1200 and 1700, the remaining walls suggest power and influence. They measure 25 feet in height and are 17 feet wide. As for the blocks, they're comparable to what's found at Stonehenge and clearly have some major significance to the local culture. Strange though it may seem to modern eyes, constructing a power base in the middle of the Pacific, it's certain that the Sodeleur saw this as a great spot. We may not have the full picture, but that only makes things more interesting. The chances of knowing exactly what happened in Nan Madol are remote. But it goes to show you can't beat a good ancient mystery that inspires people and has them wanting to find out more about the fascinating backstories. Number 9. K-152 Nerpa Accident During sea trials on a nuclear submarine fleet in 2008, a faulty firefighting system went off inside one of the vessels, releasing a poisonous fire suppressant into the cabin. Tragically, 20 people died from inhaling the Freon gas as the dangerous substance depleted their surroundings of oxygen and 21 more were injured. Sadly, the portable breathing gear that was on board failed to save the crew, but nobody seemed to know why. In the initial aftermath of the disaster, disaster, Russian officials said that they also didn't know what set off the emergency system. The authorities zeroed in on Captain Dmitry Lavrentiev and engineer Dmitry Grobov, whom they accused of death by negligence. They alleged that Grobov had accidentally turned the emergency system on and that Lavrentiev had trained the crew improperly, leading to their deaths. The men argued that the submarine's equipment was faulty and were acquitted in 2012, but the verdict was overturned. There was a retrial the following year, and they were once again found innocent. The K-152 Nerpa accident, as it came to be called, was Russia's worst submarine accident since 2000, when 118 people died in what's known as the Kursk nuclear submarine disaster. Two years after the Nerpa accident, the submarine involved was leased to India for 10 years. Hopefully, whatever was wrong with it was fixed. Number 8. Lost P-38 Squadron during World War II, the U.S. rushed hundreds of warplanes to the British Isles to help Great Britain fight the Nazis, but not all these aircraft reached their destinations. In July of 1942, for example, six Lockheed P-38 fighter jets and two B-17 bombers were forced to make emergency landings in Greenland due to harsh weather. The crew members walked away unscathed and were rescued, thankfully, but they had no choice other than to abandon the planes in an ice field. Over the following decades, two 268 feet of snow accumulated on top of the eight vehicles. Members of the Greenland Expedition Society brought one of the P-38 fighters to the surface in 1992 after years of searching and digging. 
Nicknamed P-38 Glacier Girl, the aircraft was restored to flying condition and took to the skies again in 2002. Two years later, a pilot tried to fly the Glacier Girl along the original route across the Atlantic that it had failed to complete 65 years earlier. But the aircraft sprang a coolant leak and was unfortunately grounded in Labrador, Canada. In 2018, a team returned to the site where the planes have been deserted and found another P-38 nicknamed Echo. The announced plans to take it apart and raise it piece by piece and have also been trying to raise another P-38 known as the Lightning. Eventually, the group would like to recover all eight of the missing planes and bring them back to the surface. Number 7 Deadly Helicopter Disaster Earlier this year, an MH-60S Seahawk helicopter carrying six U.S. Navy crew members began wobbling from side to side aboard the USS Abraham Lincoln aircraft carrier off the San Diego coast. Then, it plunged into the ocean. The Navy and Coast Guard launched a four-day search and rescue effort and managed to save one crew member, but never found the other five crew members' bodies. They called off the search and declared the sailors dead. Five other sailors aboard the aircraft carrier were injured in the ordeal, with two requiring treatment off the ship. The Navy launched an investigation into the cause of the accident and found that the helicopter's rotors had struck the deck before it began to shake and fell overboard. At the last update, the investigation was ongoing, so limited details were being released to the public. It was the 11th crash with a manned naval vehicle to occur this year, according to statistics from the Naval Safety Center. There were nine such incidents in 2020 and five in 2019. These numbers point toward a troubling upward trend in accidents over the last three years. It's unclear whether any action is being taken to get to the bottom of the matter or if corrective action is being taken to prevent history from repeating itself. Number six, HMS Urge. After leaving Malta in April 1942, the British submarine HMS Urge never reached its destination port at Alexandria in Egypt. And until recently, nobody knew what had happened to it. The wreck was finally discovered two years ago off the Maltese coast, where it came to rest 400 feet below the water's surface after being struck by a mine. For the past 20 years, experts from the University of Malta have been working to map the seafloor in the region. Francis Dickinson, whose grandfather was the Urge's commander, reached out to the university in hopes that they could locate the wreck. Lo and behold, an underwater vehicle found the submerged submarine using sonar. The British Ministry of Defense announced the news after confirming that it was the HMS Urge. During the vehicle's absence, there was widespread speculation about where it had ended up and how it got there. In 2015, Belgian historian Jean-Pierre Misson claimed to have found the submarine off the coast of Libya, far from its planned course, but ongoing conflicts with the country prevented experts from looking further into it. And we now know since its discovery off Malta that Misson's suspicions were incorrect. Number 5. Flight 19 in 1945, a group of five TBM Avenger torpedo bombers, collectively known as Flight 19, took off out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida for a routine naval training exercise. The triangular flight plan involved passing over a place called Hens and Chickens Shoals, then heading over Grand Bahama Island and back to base. Led by experienced pilot and war veteran Lieutenant Charles C. Taylor, the flight initially went as planned. Things took a turn for the worst thought after the team turned left to head north for the second leg of their trip. For some reason, Lieutenant Taylor became convinced that his navigation equipment was malfunctioning and that they were flying in the wrong direction. The pilots became further disoriented when they encountered heavy gusts of wind and rain. Taylor said over the radio that he believed that they were over the Florida Keys, which would mean that they were several hundred miles off course. Some experts believe that he had confused the Bahamas for the Keys and thought that they were in the Gulf of Mexico. He made the fateful decision to fly northeast, taking them further out to sea. Taylor's men knew something wasn't right. At one point, they convinced him to turn west, but he once again changed the flight's direction eastward. Radio transmissions grew weak as the planes ran low on fuel. Taylor instructed the pilots to prepare to ditch. A Navy search team immediately sprang into action and searched for 
for the confused crew by boat. Not only have the downed aircraft never been found, the search team also vanished and was never seen again. It's possible, or perhaps even likely, that the planes are sitting at the bottom of the Bermuda Triangle. But until or unless someone finds them, we'll never know for sure what their fate was. To avoid blaming Taylor for whatever happened, the Navy amended its existing report on the incident, stating that the cause of the disappearance was unknown after initially concluding that he had mistook the Bahamas for the Florida Keys. Number 4. USS Bunham Richard the Continental Navy warship USS Bonham Richard was originally a merchant ship for the Dutch East India Trading Company. In 1779, the French donated it to the Patriots who were fighting for American freedom from Great Britain. In the following weeks, it captured 16 British vessels under the direction of Naval Commander John Paul Jones. But the Bonham Richard's glory days were short-lived. Just months after being given to the Patriots, it caught several bullets and was lit on fire in the North North sea during the Battle of Flamborough Head. Jones and his crew fought to keep the vessel afloat for 36 hours, but they ultimately gave up and abandoned the ship off the northeastern coast of England. The wreck has never been found. While a few potential matches have been spotted, they have yet to be positively identified as the Bonham Richard. Finding the ship is proving to be difficult due to the sheer number of wrecks in the area, as well as over a century's worth of fishing trawler nets being dragged across the sea floor. Floor. The authorities haven't moved on identifying any wrecks as the Bottom Richard due to disagreements between the US and France over who owns the ship. If the two countries can come to an understanding, perhaps the process can move along more quickly. But there's always a chance that none of the potential matches will turn out to be the downed Patriot vessel and that the search will continue. Number 3 the last U.S. helicopter lost in Vietnam. The U.S. withdrew from Vietnam in 1973, but some of the last remaining American military members didn't leave Saigon until 1975. During these final evacuations, a CH-46 Sea Knight helicopter crashed into the South China Sea with two U.S. pilots aboard. They were the last pilots to die in Vietnam. The crash happened roughly 17 miles from the coastal city of Vung Tau in waters between 65 and 100 feet deep. Neither the pilot's bodies nor the helicopter were ever found. In 2016, a group of Marines longing for closure campaigned for the U.S. government to search for the wreck. Their mission, named the Yankee Tango 14 Recovery Project, named after the chopper's ID number, claims to know the coordinates of the fatal disaster. Not everyone with a personal connection to the tragedy agreed with the idea. Steve Neistel, whose brother Captain William Neistel went Went down in the crash, told the San Diego Tribune in 2016 that the money it would cost to search for the wreck would be better spent caring for disabled veterans. On the other hand, he said that he and his family wouldn't oppose the search if the military decided that it was the right thing to do. His personal opinion, though, was that the pilots should be left to rest in peace. The U.S. government also hesitated to pursue the recovery. One official stated that underwater investigations are difficult at best due to the tendency for storms and currents to push them around along the ocean floor. While it's easy to think that anyone who's lost a loved one at war would want the remains brought home, situations like this prove that this isn't always the case and that sometimes it's best to leave someone in their original resting place. Number 2. Flying Tiger Flight 379 in the early stages of the Vietnam War, the U.S. military chartered a Lockheed L-1049 Super Constellation prop liner called the Flying Tiger Flight Line 739. One day in March 1962, it left Travis Air Force Base in California for Saigon with 11 civilian crew members, 93 U.S. Army Ranger Specialists, and three Vietnamese soldiers aboard. There were four planned refueling stops along the route, including Honolulu, Wake Island, Guam, and the Philippines. After stopping to refuel in Guam, the plane headed for Clark Air Base in the Philippines. It vanished along the way without sending any distress calls, sparking one of the largest sea and air searches in the history of the Pacific. 
After eight days went by without finding any trace of the wreckage, the search was called off. Even though a civilian had reported seeing what appeared to be an in-flight explosion the night the aircraft disappeared. Nobody knows what happened to the Flying Tiger. The plane had nine and a half hours worth of fuel left and there were just six hours left of its journey, so it's unlikely that it ran out of fuel. The Civil Aeronautics Board concluded that the aircraft probably exploded in flight as the witness had described, but they were unable to pinpoint a possible cause. Sadly, that's the only closure that the authorities were able to deliver to the families of the soldiers who went down with the plane, most likely to a watery grave that still exists but hasn't been found. To this day, the presumed crash ranks as the worst aviation accident involving a plane from the Lockheed Constellation series. Number 1. USS Scorpion the Cold War never erupted into direct combat between the US and the Soviet Union, but both countries' militaries worked diligently to monitor the other in hopes of staying one step ahead amid rising tensions and ongoing fears of a nuclear attack. One way they did this was by conducting submarine surveillance and developing nuclear submarine warfare capabilities. One such nuclear-powered submarine was a Navy vessel called the USS Scorpion. It set off from Norfolk, Virginia in 1968 for a three-month deployment with a 99-man crew aboard. The vehicle was headed for the Mediterranean to conduct Soviet naval reconnaissance. A few months later, the Scorpion left Spain and headed back toward Norfolk, but it failed to arrive as scheduled and the submarine's disappearance quickly escalated into a major military crisis. The Navy found the wreck off the Azores in October, five months after the Scorpion was scheduled to arrive back in the US. No official cause for the sinking was ever determined. 1968 was an eventful year for when it came to the disappearance of submarines. In addition to the Scorpion, three other subs vanished vanished under mysterious circumstances, including the Israeli INS Dakar, the French Minerve, and the Soviet submarine K-129. Some believe that the Scorpion's disappearance resulted from a violent US-Soviet encounter, but other theories suggest that structural damage or an accidental explosion could have been responsible for the wreck. Number 10. Tali Cha Peak Electronic Combat Range Combat ranges near a military base aren't that unusual, but do you know about electronic combat ranges? Is it actually a real thing? Apparently it is. It is said that pilots are trained to deal with electronic warfare here. Located on Pahut Mesa in the area of the Nellis Air Force Base Complex in Nevada, Talicha Peak Electronic Combat Range, or TPECR, is impossible to spot on a map. The main access to the facility is via a paved road from Highway 95. There are no signs on the entry, but after two miles, the person traveling there will reach a guardhouse, which blocks any further travel. There is an alternative way to access, which is by air. The main complex has a number of structures which include what appears to be two hangars, but it's not known whether it is a warehouse or a workshop. Online rumors about the electronic combat range imply that UFOs were spotted in the area and that humans and aliens are working together on mind control experiments. It's also rumored that many people who went missing were found there and used for experiments like gene splicing. Number 9. Horton Down Horton Down is the oldest chemical warfare research installation. It was established in 1916, around the time of World War I and is located in Wiltshire, England, near Salisbury. The lab has quite a history. Porton Down is known for its chemical and biological weapons research and laboratories exploring the world's most dangerous pathogens. Also known as the War Department Experimental Research Ground, its isolation has led to a great deal of speculation as to what scientists were able to get up to at the lab. Much like the US counterpart, Area 51, there are rumors of human, animal, and even alien experiments occurring at Porton Down. The research lab created and tested many deadly weapons of chemical warfare, including poisoning and numbing agents. The most significant controversy was that human subjects were used in testing the weapons and their effects, and according to reports on the morally questionable human experiments, a young airman named Ronald Madison died after a liquid nerve agent was dripped onto his arm in 1953. From 1945 to 1989, scientists allegedly exposed more than 3,400 humans to nerve gas. 
Portin has tested on more humans with nerve gas and for the longest period than any other establishment in the world. Number 8. Svalbard Global Seed Vault Svalbard Global Seed Vault was established in 2008 in Norway. The vault was built as a secure backup facility to protect and preserve the world's crop diversity. It's located on the Norwegian island of the Svalbard Archipelago and provides long-term storage of duplicates of seeds conserved in gene banks around the world. If you are excited to visit the vault, sorry to disappoint you, for not everyone has access to do so. Due to various reasons, the facility provides security for the world's food supply against the loss of seeds in gene banks. The vault is managed by the Government of Norway, the Crop Trust, and the Nordic Genetic Resource Center. The seed vault contains seeds from all over the world. As the base is near the North Pole, permafrost and thick rock ensure that the seed samples will remain frozen even if there is a power failure in the facility. The seeds are sealed tight in packages made of foil, stored in airtight boxes, and arranged in shelves. An optimum temperature is maintained in the vault under low moisture conditions. These conditions help preserve the seeds for longer and retain their viability. The vault has millions of seed varieties. Be it exotic or common, just name it and it can be found there. According to Crop Trust, the vault has the capacity to store up to 4.5 million varieties of crops, and each variety can contain about 500 seeds. So a maximum of 2.5 billion seeds can be stored. Currently, the vault holds more than 1 million samples from almost every country. In case there is an apocalypse, the Earth's plant and crop diversity, including food supply, can still be rebuilt. Number 7. Gajader Air Base Gajader Air Base is a military-based airport located in Gajader Leshe County, Albania. There are many airbase airports across the world, but what makes this airbase so unique? Well, this airbase belongs to the communist era and while once active has fallen into major disrepair. The base was previously operated by the Albanian military and was home to numerous MiGs and other Soviet and Chinese aircraft. The base is burrowed into the sides of a mountain and contains some 2,000 feet of tunnels within its walls. While no longer used by the Albanian military, the airport bustled with a maze of tunnels, aircraft, and military staff. The incredible thing about this base was that planes would fly out of Gajader from the side of a mountain. The pilots had to ensure they didn't turn soon after takeoff as there was a high risk of crashing into the side of the mountain housing the base. Some of the fighter jet aircraft found at the Gajader Air Base were MiG-19, MiG-17, and MiG-21. There are still many original MiG planes within Gajader which Albanian officials are trying to sell and have even considered putting them on display at various museums across Albania. The base was constructed under the orders of dictator Enver Hoxha to prevent any foreign invasion and takeover. In 2004, the final jet flew from Gajader, and now the base is now off limits to all personnel. Number 6. Wright-Patterson Air Force Base Wright-Patterson Air Force Base is currently the largest military base operated by the Air Force on United States territory. Located in Dayton, Ohio, this airbase was built in 1917. Though the base isn't secret and is actually well known, Wright-Patterson Air Force Base remains one of the most mysterious military bases in the United States because of the various theories that surround it. Many historians believe that the leading scientists managed to reverse engineer Russian aircraft during the Cold War here. One of the conspiracy theories suggests that scientists even reverse engineered alien technology as well. Many Americans believe that a UFO with its extraterrestrial crew crash landed in the New Mexico desert near Roswell on July 2, 1947. The site was supposedly cleaned up by the Air Force from nearby Roswell Army Air Force Base. According to reports, the space vessel was then shipped off to Hangar 18 at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base to remain hidden. It is also said that the Roswell crash was not the only extraterrestrial crash in the U.S. and that there was more to it. One of the crashes rumored to have happened had 16 alien bodies which were taken to Wright-Patterson. And if there were any survivors, the medicines that were administered to save the aliens ended up killing them. Do you believe in aliens? What do you think about the theories of UFO crash sightings? Let us know in the comment section below. If you are enjoying our video, give us a like and share and make sure you subscribe as well. Number 5. 
South China Sea bases. A few years ago, China started turning several islands and reefs into several military establishments in the South China Sea. Strangely, a few years ago, these islands didn't even exist, but seem to have been constructed just for this purpose. These military bases are situated far away from mainland China and any other island that comes within the expanse of disputed waters. A government-associated publication said that the reefs and islands in southern China have distinctive advantages and are essential in safeguarding national sovereignty by maintaining the presence of military services amid the open seas. China claims sovereignty over most of the South China Sea. Since 2014, they have been building man-made artificial islands that are being fortified heavily with loaded missiles, runways, and weapon systems. Six other countries have made overlapping claims in the waterways. Vietnam, Brunei, Indonesia, the Philippines, Malaysia, and Taiwan. No one knows the intention behind these defense infrastructures. Many believe that its purpose might be for controlling shipping and trading, or maybe that they are trying to take over the oil and natural gas rights of the local territory, or maybe even expand the Chinese military presence. What's worrying for China's neighbors is that it might well be all three reasons. A new report suggested that the territory could be vulnerable to attacks and could be indefensible in the event of war. What do you think? Could China be slowly trying to encroach into other territories? Number 4. Area 51 Familiar with Area 51? In September of 2019, alien hunters and college students, along with tons of other netizens, were ready to raid the place after the speculation of aliens being present there spread like wildfire. Area 51 is a highly classified facility which comes under the supervision of the United States Air Force and is located in Nevada. It was built in 1955 and the details of the facility's operations have never made it to the public domain. Area 51 is actually an active military base and the most advanced air technology has been developed for the Air Force and military from here. The USAF said that the base is an open training range and supports the development and also testing of experimental aircraft and weapon systems. However, the intense security surrounding the site led to many conspiracy theories. The most common one was that UFOs being sighted around the base and that experiments on aliens were also going on there. Over the years, bizarre lights surrounded the skies. It is said that planes were secretly flown or were tested at night. The speed of the airplanes and heights were foreign and unbelievable. These were some of the main reasons behind the whole alien speculation. Most of the mysteries and, of course, secrecy continue to remain unknown. Still, as long as there are theories and the internet, we can see many more speculations unfold. Number 3. Wendover Army Air Base Pearl Harbor is one of the most well-known attacks in history and so is the American military response that leveled Japanese cities Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Wendover Army Air Base, located in Utah, was a training base for B-17 and B-24 bombers and the crews that were trained to carry out the atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Built between 1940 to 1945, the base was constructed because the United States began looking for additional bombing ranges. Local ranchers started protesting against the loss of their lands and even took the complaints to Governor Henry Hooper Blood, but the War Department pressed on the construction. The first military members arrived in August of 1941 to construct targets on the bombing range, and the first training unit arrived in April 1942. They found the place ideal for bomb training due to a lack of population around the area. The base of the 509th Composite Group under the command of Colonel Paul W. Tibet was the one behind flying the B-29 that bombed Hiroshima. The base was high on security and followed a strict rule of what you do here, what you hear here, stays here. The information was very confidential and the 509th group didn't know about the purpose of the training before reaching the site. The airbase was closed by the Air Force in 1969 and currently the base is used as a remote civil airport in Utah. Number two, Kapustin Yar. Kapustin Yar is a rocket launch and development site situated in Astrakhan Oblast, Russia. Built in 1946 under the command of Joseph Stalin, the primary reason behind construction of the base was to test rockets for the Russian military. Just like Porton Down, this base is also a secretive military test facility, and you can already imagine what sinister work has been done there. 
there is a rumor that Kapustin Yar leads a secret double existence. It's said that the mere fact of the installation was only discovered when a German military plane flew over the site and located intel on the property. There is also the popular rumor of alien sightings. There are claims that in January 1986, a UFO crashed into Mount Izvestokavia. Even the New York Times wrote a detailed piece about it. However, most of these sightings were around the Kapustin site. Apparently, the base holds extraterrestrial aircrafts and isolated cells for conducting alien autopsies. According to some, Kapustin Yar is where the Soviet Union's top researchers, military specialists, and scientists were sent to develop highly classified Cold War technologies and weaponry. It was so secretive that the small town near it was completely eliminated after all the residents were evacuated. So what exactly was happening there that it had to be destroyed by the government's order? No one knows for certain. Number 1. Pine Gap If you watched the Netflix show Pine Gap, you already know that it's based on a true story. Pine Gap, located in rural Alice Springs, Northern Territory, Australia, is a military-based facility jointly operated by Australia and the United States. Built in 1996, this place was known as the Joint Defense Space Research Facility, which was created thanks to a treaty between the US and Australia to build a US satellite surveillance base locally on Australian soil. The purpose of this facility was solely based on space research. Since the Cold War ended in 1991 and the rise of the War on Terror started in 2001, the facility has been refocusing on nuclear treaty monitoring and missile launch detection. Pine Gap consists of a massive computer complex with 38 rod domes protecting radio dishes. The base has over 800 employees, and NSA employee David Rosenberg stated that the chief of the facility was a CIA agent in service. The location is significantly strategic because it controls the United States spy satellites, which pass over one-third of the globe. It includes China, the Middle East, the Asian part of Russia, and even North Korea. The intel that has been produced has been relied heavily upon by U.S. Special Forces, the Pentagon, and the President and his military leaders. What is unique about this facility is that Pine Gap relies heavily on signal intelligence rather than human intelligence. Does the base function as a launch site or a secret military base? You are free to take your guess. Thanks for watching. Which of these secret military bases most intrigues you? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and hit the bell icon to never miss the video. See you next time. Bye.